In this video, we're continuing on with the adding and subtracting polynomials worksheet. This is the second video, and in this video, we're going to do numbers 11 through 20. Starting with number 11, to simplify this, we're going to have to combine the like terms. Before we do that, I know that addition is commutative, meaning that the order in which you add doesn't matter. So I like to turn everything into addition to start to make it a little bit easier. So subtracting the quantity 10a minus 2a to the fifth minus 14a to the fourth is the same as adding a negative one times that. So then we can distribute the negative. So rewriting this, we'll have 12a to the fifth minus or plus a negative 6a plus a negative 10a cubed plus a negative 10a plus a negative times a negative is a positive. So a positive 2a to the fifth plus a positive, since a negative times a negative is positive, 14a to the fourth. And when I say that a negative times a negative is a positive, I'm taking this negative 1 and multiplying it by the terms, which only changes the sign of the term. Now we can combine. We can combine the a to the fifths together. There is only one a to the fourth term. There's only one a to the third term, but then there's two a to the first terms. So then we can combine those. A good rule of thumb is to start with the greatest exponent and work your way in decreasing order as you list your terms and your final answer. So I'm going to first start with the a to the fifths. 12a to the fifth plus 2a to the fifth is 14a to the fifth. Then I'm going to add the 14a to the fourth. Then I'm going to add the negative 10a to the third, which I can simply subtract a positive 10a to the third. And then finally, my last term, negative 6a plus negative 10a gives me a negative 16a. So instead of adding the negative, I will subtract the positive 16a. So you can see I have 14a to the fifth plus 14a to the fourth minus 10a to the third minus 16a. So all my terms were simplified to the final answer. And if you need help keeping track of your terms and need to cross them out as you add them or combine them, go ahead and do so. In number 12, again, I'm going to add a negative and distribute that. So I'll have 8n plus a negative 3n to the fourth plus 10n squared plus a negative 3n squared, plus a negative 11n to the fourth, plus a positive 7. Now combining like terms, there are 2n to the fourth terms, and there are two terms with n squared. The others cannot be combined. So I'm going to start with my n to the fourth. Negative 3n to the fourth plus a negative 11n to the fourth is going to be negative 14n to the fourth. Now I can do my n squared. So I'm going to do 10n squared plus negative 3n squared, which gives me a positive 7n squared. And then plus 8n and plus 7. So my final answer is negative 14n to the fourth plus 7n squared plus 8n plus 7. Number 13, there's no subtraction, so I'll just start by combining the terms. I have two terms with x to the fifth, I have two terms with x to the fourth, and I also have two terms with x to the third. So there's going to be a total of three terms in my final answer. So let's start with the x to the fifth. 13x to the fifth plus 5x to the fifth will give us 18x to the fifth. Moving on to x to the fourth, I have negative x to the fourth plus 7x to the fourth, which will be 6x to the fourth since negative one plus seven is a positive six. And then finally, six x cubed plus six x cubed will give me 12 x cubed. 18 x to the fifth plus six x to the fourth plus 12 x cubed is the answer in number 13. Number 14, I can combine my nine r cubed with my negative two r cubed. I can combine my five r squared with the negative eight r squared, and I can also combine 11r with 9r. 
starting with the cubed terms, I'm going to have 9r cubed minus 2r cubed, which is 7r cubed. And then 5r squared minus 8r squared is going to be a negative 3r squared, so minus 3r squared. And then 11r plus 9r is 20r. 7r cubed minus 3r squared plus 20r. In number 15, I can combine two terms with n to the fourth. I can combine two terms with n squared. And I can combine two terms with n to the first. At the start, I have negative 2 n to the fourth minus or plus a negative 6 n to the fourth. So that's going to be negative 8 n to the fourth. Then I have 13 n squared minus 13 n squared. So those will cancel out to be 0. And I have 11n minus 3n, which is going to be 8n. So that's going to be positive 8n. My final answer is negative 8n to the fourth plus 8n. In number 16, locating the like terms. Two terms contain x to the fifth. One term contains x to the fourth. And then two terms contain x to the first. And one term is a constant. So writing this, negative 7x to the 5th plus 5x to the 5th will leave me with negative 2x to the 5th. So I've taken care of these two terms now. Next, I'll have my x to the 4th term. That's just going to be positive 10x to the 4th. So I'm just rewriting that in the expression. Now I can deal with my x terms. Negative 2x plus 7x is going to be positive 5x. So adding 5x. And then lastly, I can add my constant of 14. And that is how you reach the answer in number 16. Now for number 17. I have two constant terms. I have two terms with x cubed. And then I have a single term with an x and a single term with an x to the fifth. I'm going to go ahead and distribute this negative as well. So I'm going to add a negative 2x a negative 8, and this is going to be positive 4x to the 5th. Starting with the term with the greatest exponent, that's going to be 4x to the 5th. And then I'll do my x to the thirds. Negative 13x to the 3rd plus a negative 2x to the 3rd is going to be a negative 15x to the 3rd. So I'm going to subtract 15x to the 3rd. Then I have my 11x, which is negative, so I'm subtracting 11x. And finally, I have 7 plus a negative 8, which will give me a negative 1, so I'm subtracting 1. 4x to the 5th minus 15x to the 3rd minus 11x minus 1 is the final answer in number 17. If you have trouble distributing this negative, feel free to write it out or change everything to be addition if you get confused when subtracting. I'm going to rewrite this by distributing the negative at the start. So I'm going to have 13a squared plus a negative 6a to the fifth plus a negative 2a plus a positive 10a squared plus a positive 11a to the fifth plus a negative 9a. Now I'm going to locate my similar terms. I have two terms with a to the fifth. I have two terms with a squared, and I have two terms with a to the first. Starting with a to the fifth, negative 6a to the fifth plus 11a to the fifth is going to be a positive 5a to the fifth. 13a squared plus 10a squared is going to be 23a squared. And then finally, negative 2a plus negative 9a is going to be a negative 11a so we're going to subtract 11a. So my final answer in number 18 is 5a to the fifth plus 23a squared minus 11a. Number 19, again, I'm going to start by distributing that negative. So I'll have 3b to the fifth plus 8b to the third plus a negative 10v squared plus a positive 12v to the fifth 
plus a negative 4v to the third plus a negative 14v squared. Now locating the similar terms, I have two terms with v to the fifth, I have two terms with v to the third, and two terms with v squared. Starting with v to the fifth, 3v to the fifth plus 12v to the fifth is 15v to the fifth. And then moving on to v to the third, 8v to the third minus 4v to the third is going to be a positive 4v to the third. So I'm adding that 4v to the third. And then negative 10v squared minus 14v squared, or plus a negative 14v squared, is going to be a negative 24v squared. So I will subtract 24 v squared. And lastly, number 20. But before I go over the answer to this, please remember to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Also, feel free to follow my Twitter account and also like my Facebook page. Now on to number 20. I'm going to distribute this negative, so I'm going to add a negative b to the fourth, adding a positive 7b, and adding a positive 3. So you can see that when you're subtracting a polynomial, you can add that polynomial by changing the sign of each of the terms. Now in order to combine, I have two terms with b to the third, I have two terms with b to the fourth, and I have two constant terms, a negative 6 and a positive 3. Starting with b to the fourth, since that's the greatest exponent, I have 3b to the fourth minus b to the fourth which will leave me with 2b to the fourth. Then I have 8b to the third plus 7b to the third, so that's going to be 15b to the third. So I'm adding 15b to the third to that 2b to the fourth. Then I have a negative 6 plus a positive 3, which is going to result in a negative 3, so I'm going to subtract 3 at the end. 2b to the fourth plus 15b cubed minus 3 is the solution in number 20. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below and join me in the next video where I'll go over numbers 21 through 30, finishing out the adding and subtracting polynomials worksheet.